when we're meditating, we're creating a, a state of mind that spreads out. It's not just our state of mind that benefits. The fact that we're meditating, trying to gain some control over our greed, aversion, and delusion, the people around us benefit as well. And there's a goodness that doesn't depend on whether we're Asian or American, or both Asian and American, or whatever we are, European. It's a, it's a goodness that's standard all over the world. When you're generous, it's something everybody everywhere appreciates. When you're virtuous, everybody appreciates it. When you meditate, people may not know what you're doing, but they can see that the, the quality of the mind that shows in your actions is an admirable quality of mind. You act mindfully. You, you act with awareness, alertness. You act with discernment. People are bound to see that, and they're bound to appreciate it. It all comes out of this ability to train the mind. As the Buddha once said, it's training the mind that leads to true happiness. And so we should always keep that in mind. When we look for happiness in other places, you have to ask yourself, what is this going to do to my mind? Is it going to help with the training of the mind, or is it going to hurt it? If it's going to hurt it, why get involved? Because that kind of happiness doesn't last. It turns into something else, i.e. it turns into pain, it turns into misfortune. So make sure that your state of mind is good, and everything you do will follow in being good as well. And the influence you have in the world will be good influence that lasts not only while you're alive, but will continue to last after you're gone. We've picked up this goodness from the people who went before us, and now we want to make sure that we deliver it to the hands of the people who follow us. That way goodness doesn't get lost in the world, because it's only through goodness that we human beings can live with one another. Without the goodness of generosity, without the goodness of virtue, we'd be killing one another. We wouldn't stand to be able to live with one another at all. It's because of our goodness that we can have a society, and we can benefit from the benefits of society. So remember, this is an important inheritance that we've received from those who went before us, and something we're going to pass on in good shape to the people who follow. This way our practice is not just for us, it's for everybody. Not only everybody now, but for everybody on into the future, too. So always keep these points in mind. <clears throat>